Good morning, my friendsies. Okay, so I have been working on this yesterday, which is making the hair webs. Because we've been wigging like crazy. Ooh, oh no, I just totally ruined my hair wet. Okay, that's all right. All right, so this little girly, I'm gonna have to fix the screen because it's off the angle. There we go. So, is that even in focus? Let me raise that just a bit more. There we go. So this is what I've been working on yesterday. I glued all of the hair down. And if you go and see my little short, you'll see a little short video that I posted. You'll see her with like the crazy wild hair. Well, what I did is I kind of brushed it out and you can actually brush it, which is so cool with this little wig. Let me get this comb clean, but you can actually brush it and I'll end up probably trimming some of the bottom area. I glued down the base right here and then put the little rubber band so it would stay in place. So I'll undo that when I get home. I have to go to the doctor's today to check out the little lump under my arm. So I won't be in the studio today, but I will be posting a whole bunch of fairy history videos that I recorded yesterday so that I could have something to do on the drive because it takes about, I don't know what, like, couple hours to drive to the doctors from my little location here in the Rocky Mountains. Okay, this is the shoe that I was telling you guys about. So I put another layer of glue on, but I'm so excited about this in particular. Let me hold it a little bit closer. Hopefully it's in focus for you guys, but let's go ahead and take this off. And I've been dying to do this. I was so excited. So let's do this and see if it worked. So what I did is I basically applied a layer of of this right here this is you know what? i'm gonna angle this down so i know where i'm working all right is that better hopefully that's better okay so i put this right over so this is the protective layer and then i put this over the foot and i secured it with a rubber band and then i just applied glue in kind of the shape of a shoe and i put another okay let me just let me just take this off and see if it works. I'm going to slip it off of the foot this way. And then I'm going to take it off of, is that in the angle? Okay. I'm going to take this off and see if it's still in the shape of a shoe. Is it? Is it going to be in the shape of a shoe? There's little random hairs. Okay. I'm going to pull that out. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So look, look at this. It's like a little perfect little shoe. Look at the little slipper. Do you think this is going to slip in? Shall we try it? Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Look, look how good that turned out. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited about this. So with a little needle and thread, I can string like a little, a little thread in here and kind of tighten it up to create like a little shoe. But this literally creates endless possibilities. I could put a little clay heel on here and decorate the clay up. I can put gems on this little slipper. I could do so many different designs on here. So I have a basic shoe then that I created. I mean, how cool is that? And I added a little fabric on the bottom to create a sole. But that is so crazy awesome. I am so excited about that. Oh, she has her little toes in. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to have to go. I have to get ready to leave. Um, don't forget to check out the fairy history videos. I have like seven, I think, maybe lined up for today, maybe. And I'm going to come home tonight and work on a Miss Wiggy here. And then I'll show you the results tomorrow. And these little guys, I have to peel off the plastic and start working on their wigs as well. <laughs> the thing I think I'm most excited about is pulling this off and seeing if it actually turned out like a wig because I haven't pulled this off her head yet. And look how cute. Doesn't she look super cute? Like her little nose sticking out there. All right. Goodbye, you guys. And I will hang out with you tomorrow.